Like many others, our story could begin with Once Upon a Time. All right, Once Upon a Time. When the skies over Europe were still bruised and battered from long years of war, aviation projects started to spring up all over the place. Projects not without ambition, but which were often curtailed through lack of means. People on the other side of the Atlantic wondered whether those strange Europeans would one day manage to keep an aircraft in the air for any length of time. An aircraft likely to seduce airline companies and capable of imposing itself on every continent. Une des premières entreprises que j'ai faites, c'était de vagabonder à travers les États-Unis pour ré réellement voir sur place quelle serait la réaction des compagnies aériennes sur un Airbus. The only thing left to do was to build the first Airbus and with it try to woo the airlines in the US and then attempt to corner 25% of the world market. The project came to fruition in 1969 at the Paris Air Show. The A300, as it was called, was officially born in the form of a joint partnership between Europeans. Sharing their skills and know-how to build an aircraft that would make the Americans tremble. Pour être en compétition avec les Américains, qui était le grand problème que nous avions, il fallait mettre en place des moyens importants. Et la France, un pays comme la France, n'avait pas les moyens d'être compétitif avec les Américains. C'est ça qui m'a conduit dès le début à cette notion de coopération européenne. The A300 would start to take shape in the four corners of Europe, where factories were to be set up or modified. Each part of the future A300, each element, its future flight characteristics, cabin interior details, everything would be studied and tested. Complete sections of the A300 would then be built in each of the European firms participating in the project. This flawless organization would continue with the transport of the complete sections to the assembly line, a race against time to be crowned with the A300's first flight and its certification. The whole world would be astounded by the daring and aviation genius of the Europeans and their aircraft, which would sell without the least difficulty. An exciting prospect indeed. Das war die Idee, die in allen Köpfen war. Und äh, dass das natürlich nicht von heute auf morgen äh, zu verwirklichen war, das war, äh, das war klar, das war vor allen Dingen uns allen klar und deshalb hatten wir auch das genügende Rückgrat, nicht bei Rückschlägen äh, und Problemen sofort aufzugeben. Musik